how I joined radio is a very interesting story, actually. So here's the thing. I used to bug Gil, who is our station manager, for a really long time, telling me, I really want to work on radio for such... Like, I, this guy, I was literally stalking him. But I'm kind of the person that was on the dance floor when the opportunity came. So I did dance with the opportunity. What inspired me to join radio? I think I've always wanted to be on radio, guys. To be honest with you, I've always wanted to be on radio for as long as I can remember. When it comes to achievements, I have to say, just working on XFM is a huge, huge, huge achievement. Every day, I have people in my DMs who ask me about radio, want to be on radio, want to even get a chance to work here. So working here alone is a huge achievement. But along with that has come a band of so many other opportunities, working with vision group platforms like Urban TV, Kampala Sun, being featured in in the newspapers on blogs and along with that some other opportunities that are external but simply because I'm here so they reach out to me because they love what I do here and they want to exploit some of that they want to get some of that so there have been so many opportunities where I've been a brand ambassador for some companies I have done influencing I have done hosting shows writing a lot of things that have lined up my pockets but also made it made radio and other things the fun experience it has always been when it comes to challenges in regards to maybe being a woman or working as a female in the industry is that one men are easily given opportunities because they think you're either more hardworking or you're more driven or more ambitious or in just in, more in need of that opportunity so i realized that sometimes when opportunities are being given out men are the first people they think about okay secondly when it comes to pay so oftentimes you find that we are not being paid the same amount or the same salary like other male counterparts we work with so I find that really really discouraging when it comes to maybe ways that, uh, that I think um, we can help women succeed even more at, uh, at not just at Vision Group but even within the media industry is one women have to be given more opportunities more chances please don't shut down a woman just because she is a woman and you think she can't deliver you can't allow her to go to a field or you can't give her a job that you think is too tough for her or you think she already has a responsibilities trust me people have managed to balance out things so please the other thing is that um, harassment you know it's very funny but oftentimes you find that harassment passes off as almost being normalized like you know someone touching you or someone being like or throwing like lines at you a lot of people think that's normal and that's okay canon kalia those funny funny comments <laughs> which we have normalized but really some people find that very offensive and i think even in the workplace those are things that we have to actually work upon and realize that you can't just start saying such things to anyone however friendly you are with them